You're a good boy. Just because the dog's not here doesn't mean I'm a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. <laughs> How's it going on, Charlie? I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to Multicast. We're doing a Buna Hobbin today. Oh. Oh, don't you know. <laughs> a seven year old. That's a heavy pour. Die. Hope, Hope I you like it. it. So do I. Give you a monocon pour. Seven year old Buna Hobbin. Independent bottle from Battle Hill. Peated Scotch whiskey, aged oak, oak casks. Product of Scotland, it's single malt. Uh, this is widely available. This is one of 3,000 bottles. Wow. So that's a decent amount there for an independent bottling. Why do I have to keep reminding you to say the ABV? ABV is a thing. That's why That's why you have, I have you on here, Ms. Jean. This is an <laughs> ABV of 52%, 104 proof. 52. Um, doesn't really say anything extra other than peated single malt whiskey, aged oak cast, seven years, Buna Hobbin. Distillery, boom, a hobbin. Huh. <laughs> what you get on the nose there? I'm gonna say peat. I do, I get some peat. And that is a heavy pour. You know what, I'm gonna pour some back in. Just put some in here. Okay, we can do that too. You can just, you know, even them out. Even them out, yep, even them out, boom. Probably still a little bit more. What'd you get on the nose there, Jean Marie? So there's that, that barbecue, that peat. That those light fruits are there too. I, I get those pears underneath that that soft peat. I'm, I'm calling it soft peat. My favorite peat is probably from Port Char favorite peat smell. It's probably from Port Charlotte uh, 10. Um, I like Ardbeg's nose. I love Lagavulin's. Blue Ones. The point about getting to is this is a different type of peat nose. Well, if I had to compare it, I'd compare it to Lagavulin, yeah, I think. Yeah, that's what I. This is a similar to Log of Lune, uh, 11, 12, heck, even a 16. It's not a sharp peat. It's a it's a rounded at the edges yes. peat. And it's got, you can get the notes that are underneath it. It's not just, you know, there's peat, take it. That's it. There's yep. like, here's a nice fruit basket. And I'm just going to sprinkle just a little teeny tiny peat on top. Yeah, you, you missed a spot. <clears throat> Uh, so my dad uh, was a body man. If you don't know what a body man is, he works on the body of cars. He, he painted cars, he built cars. See, when you say body man, I think a bodybuilder, and I can't see. He's, he's that dad too. He's, being he, a body he, he's five foot six and he's jacked. He's all jacked up a Mountain Dew. He's got washboard. <laughs> he, he's sixty. I don't know how old. Got a washboard abs, muscles out to here. Just a little mighty mouse. My, my dad, you don't want to be on a uh, in a dark alley. For, for instance, he has a uh, split earlobe. He got in a, a gang fight in his uh, high school day. He says his earring ripped out. Anyway, I digress. He painted cars for 30 years. And this reminds me of, he painted a car three hours ago, his paint booth. I walk in there, hey dad, mom's on the phone, or hey dad, whatever. And oh, that's that car just got painted small. Oh, okay, okay. I wondered where you're headed there. But we, yeah. we got there. We got there. We did, took a left turn in Albuquerque. We asked the GPS and we got there. <laughs> oh, and subscribe to the channel, help us grow. Thumbs up if you like us, thumbs down if you don't like my stupid stories, which I often tell. Mm. <laughs> what else you getting? Um, so, uh, besides like those pears, I get vanilla, some just like those soft scotch, fruity vanilla, ginger type of notes um, with some really nice soft peat, and I'm gonna go in on my tongue. <laughs> Have a go in there, Gene. Uh, everything Jean said, I think this is like fermented fruit, fermented pear. Uh, I'll be curious to see what we can get past the peat on the palate. It's it's a unique peat nose. I like it. Ooh, with a pepper. Everything that was on the nose and then dumping the pepper. Just a, you want a little bit of pepper? You say, I heard you like pepper. Dump. Yeah. First thing that came to mind, as soon as it hits my tongue, is I'm walking in a pumpkin patch, it's October, it's fall, and somebody's gutting a, a pumpkin and just pours it open into that fresh pumpkin from a natural pumpkin, not like pumpkin spice, not just freshly gutted, seeded pumpkin. Huh. I'm not really a fan of the fresh gutted pumpkin smell. But, I'm not getting any of that for me on this, on this at all. I'm getting really nice. <laughs> What are you talking about, stupid smack? There's none of that in there. I didn't say it like that at all. I was politely just saying, not so much for me. Here's where you're not as right as you think you might be. Hmm, I don't like it. Oh yeah, you like it. Um, 
these are are those it's just a it's a fruit cocktail it's a smoked fruit cocktail mm -hmm. not the cherry i'm not getting any cherry I, i'm getting the the can of fruit cocktail without the you know they sell them with the cherries and they sell them without the cherries this is without the cherries and then you put it on the smoker and you smoked it yeah i'll and, get you that um, except mine has cherries it's heavy you know the heavy syrup that's in the the fruit cocktail it, it's got that it's got the peppers that's the best part of the fruit mm. cocktail mm. i'm right there with you mm. i think that is a perfect description of what this is except mine does actually have the cherry you got the cherry yeah, but my, what mine is missing is the pineapple. It's the grape, it's the pear, it's the cherry. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Whatever, we got two different, whatever, whatever. Yes, we yeah. not but yes, absolutely, you smoked it. So, um, uh, Randy, shout out to Randy, he likes to smoke ice cubes. And he, he says, hey man, I just smoked some ice cubes. And but he smokes ice cubes, just to give the, us the smoked ice cubes. Put it in there, this is what his smoked ice cubes actually used to taste like. Have you had one of his smoked ice cubes? Yeah. Why would I just go through all that and not know? No, I've never had one. Yeah, I've had one. I didn't know you went over there to have some of his... I did. Cubes. He brought them over here. Oh. Figure it out, man. Figure well, it out. I ain't gonna try no smoked ice cube. I don't think he wanted one. Probably. But it's a smoked ice cube. Most people don't. And we weren't, you, weren't, you were still in the beer, not so much in the whiskey at the time. This was many moons ago. All right. Water didn't really change my nose for me. Water for me? I'm getting celery stock now. Which I like, I love a celery stock. Mm. I like it, mm. it's good. Made it more creamy, cranked up some more peppers. It's good, Battle Hill Buddha Hobbin. Mm -hmm. I see you working. I see you working, yeah, Battle Hill. we had some good ones the last couple of Buddha Hobbin, we've been a great luck of late. 90. 91. 91, it's 91. right there. Absolutely crosses in that 90, this is a great, Yes. Oh, and it's seven years old. For me, blind, I'm guessing 11 years old. This drinks well above its weight. Um, the ABV, I think, is spot on. I'd probably guess this has a 52, 51 ABV. I like the Battle Hills. I like oh, what yeah. we've been getting with the Battle Hills. For us, top five, I'm going to do that at some point. Some point, I'm going to do a top five independent bottler. For me right now, it's probably Battle Hill or Scotch Malt Whiskey Society are the two that mm -hmm. I've never gone wrong with. Everything I've got from there, I love. Yeah. 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 Anything left to add, Gene? Boy, I tell you, I want to tell you how much we bought. Oh, yeah. What did you buy us for? Because you buy the Battle, battle Hills because you see them before I ever do. You. I'm going to guess to say 90. Are... No. Nope. What'd you say? Cut that in half. $45? $47. Hell yes. $47. Buy a case. If you like P, if you like Buddha Hobbin. Yeah. Yes, it, it drinks to me an 11 year old, I think that the, I'll probably guess 50, I'd probably guess 50 to 51. I don't know if I would have gotten that 52 ABV, but yes, buy a case of that. bucks, my goodness. Hell yeah, good I job, Buddha Hobbin. I should have picked up a backup, because, uh, no, mm. no, I shouldn't have. We got two. Peated single malt scotch whiskey. Yes, good stuff. <laughs> good. I'm Charlie. And I'm Jean, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are.